Hi guys, uh, this is Kishore and Jillian and we are Everyday Travel and the reason we are shooting this video because I wanted to educate people what travel agent is or travel advisor is mm -hmm. so I have come up with like some questions for Jillian and I hope like the answer, answers like she's, she's like gonna give me it will help you guys uh, to understand you know the benefits of going with travel agents and if you have any future plans to travel uh, within the states or within you know like anywhere in the world I think like this interview and this question answer session is going to help you guys so my first question for you uh, my first question for you Jillian is like how long have you been in this industry um it's been five years it's been five years mm -hmm. and how do you like so far I love it it's my dream job very passionate about it and like what decided, like what did like decide you to become a travel agent? Um, so I love to travel um, and I love to help people. So it seemed like it's a business of people, it seemed like a great fit. I love to research. Um, I don't get you know overwhelmed easily by spending hours upon hours researching and um, I'm trilingual. So yeah, I'm just Everything seemed to be right up my alley. You said you're trying like what languages like you speak? Uh, English, Spanish, and Hindi. Hindi, like uh, being a trilingual, trilingual, like does it help uh, to say travel? I would say because it shows that I am humble, that um, I understand different cultures, different people, and um, it allows me to make better, kind of genuine connections with a wide array of, of different cultures. Okay, and if I ask you, like, how would you say, I love travel in Spanish, like, how would you say that? Me encanta viajar. And in Hindi? Mujhe safar karna bohat pasand hai. That's great. Okay, so now let's talk about, you know, travel agent, travel advisor. What, which one would you prefer, travel agent or travel advisor? Um, I actually call myself a travel consultant. Um, but between those two, I would say the travel advisor would be more appropriate. Um, are you familiar with ASTA? Uh, I think American Society of Travel Agents. Travel Advisors, yep. Okay, so that's they not a travel agent, it's an advisor. Yeah, okay. yeah, they just switched it over. Um, basically, it's a huge concept. The connotation of travel agent um, was negative. Mm -hmm. The old um, travel agent was more of an order taker. So there was no internet, and the only way to book travel was by going to a travel agency, a storefront, um, and that was the only way that you could, you know, get a handwritten, write out a, um, a plane ticket and all that good stuff. But now that there is the internet, it's no competition, the internet has nothing on this profession, um, but it's really evolved into a travel advisor. That's why the American Society of Travel Advisors just recently switched the title and their name they're the largest association travel association and i'm actually a member of already travel is um because we're more like uh, the example they give is uh, more like a consultant so instead of it, instead of being a bank teller that you go to and they it's more transactional um, we're more like a financial advisor more relationship building more guiding more okay. working together not just calling a travel agent and saying I want to go to Hawaii. Get me this, and I want this. It's not that's okay. not the relationship. It's more like let's talk about this. When do you want to go? And let me give you some tips because I've been to all the mainstream, I you know, islands stuff mm. like that. Okay. Uh. So uh, let me be frank. Like when I started traveling, mm. I always like use services like you know I I went on Google mm -hmm. and search for let's say if I want to fly to Florida, mm -hmm. I'll go to Google and search for you know flights for Florida or hotels for for mm -hmm. Florida. So I use like Expedia. Mm -hmm. quite often so like when the word travel agent or travel advisor or travel consultant like, when it comes like you know it makes like many many people confused mm -hmm. that they don't know like many people question like travel agent like is that still a job in this 21st like century. century so like what do you think like if like travel agent are they like really necessary for people Absolutely. Um, no doubt. Even from a road trip where you just need one night in a hotel. Mm -hmm. um, I work with a lot of wholesalers 
that are not open to the public. They're just business to business model. Mm -hmm. um, and when you cut out that middleman, you often save a lot of money. So it's not just about the money. I definitely, if there's one thing I can stress is the benefit goes far beyond that. Um, I don't like to, my ideal client does not use me as a price comparison. Um, I would think that they would know me, like me, want to work with me, trust me more mm -hmm. than to look at my price and compare it to the internet and try to be more savvy because I am very well traveled. I've been to so many places. I mm -hmm. stay current with different, you know, specializations. I just yesterday became a Disney specialist mm -hmm. and an Australian specialist. So okay. I'm constantly educating myself, going to the different trade shows and networking events in this industry, mm -hmm. building relationships with the different, um, they're called business development managers. For the different suppliers, I'm very well connected. Okay. Um, there are endless benefits. Now, the storefront travel agency, that is less and less common. Majority of my profession now works from home mm -hmm. um, because we can meet at a Panera or a Starbucks mm -hmm. or, you know, there really isn't, um, it's not very necessary to have that overhead of a storefront. So that you see less and less, and I think that confuses people. Um, but yeah, besides saving lots of time, lots of money, you mm -hmm. know, sharing my recommendations, um, I don't know the entire world. No travel advisor knows the entire world. Mm -hmm. um, however, whatever I don't know, I'm very well connected and I know people that do know. So I can get an answer whether I know it or not. Okay. Yeah, that's a, a good answer. And like, you know, if I decide to, you know, partner with a travel consultant, mm -hmm. I'd say, uh, what kind of preparation, like, you know, I should make uh, in mm -hmm. terms of a consumer? Like, I, I, like, let's say I'm a customer, I'm looking for, you know, some flights or hotels. So, mm -hmm. and if I'm approaching a travel agent, like, what kind of preparation I should? Um, as much, de as many details as you have. Mm -hmm. um, I do work with a whole gamut of clients. Some clients are very well traveled. They've lived abroad. Uh, they know exactly what they want, down to the T, the dates, the room categories of the hotels, what they want to do on each and every day, and that's fine. Um, they do not need hand-holding, but they want accountability. They want to partner with someone. They're busy, you know, in their careers and their lives, mm -hmm. that to do it all and put it all together and advise with, you know, trip protection and everything, that's too much for them. So they come to me. Um, I have other people that are not very well-traveled, and mm -hmm. they just want to get out and they don't know where they want to go, and they don't mm -hmm. know when, and they don't know what their budget is. And mm -hmm. so, you know, I need to do a lot more hand-holding mm -hmm. um, in that situation. But I can be as, um, you know, uh, I can go either way. Okay. So I have had, like, both types of clients, you know, like, well, clients who do their research. Yeah, and before. I have loyal clients in New Zealand and in India, um, all over the world, Germany, so mm -hmm. it's really nice to be able to, in this profession, I can work from wherever I am, even mm -hmm. if I'm traveling, and I can also service and, you know, um, provide those travel needs to clients all over the world. Okay, yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. And, like, if I want to, like, you know, let's say if I want to book a cruise or, uh, you know, if I want to go for all-inclusive, you know, resort or something mm -hmm. like that. So going with a travel agent, mm -hmm. what should be my driving factor, you know, to go forward and book, you know, my tickets. What kind of information should you... Uh, no, what, what would be the driving factors for a, a customer? What you should you know, like when you want to go, how many people are going, um, budget, like that? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so that's the information that sometimes you don't know and I'll help kind of guide you. Mm -hmm. um, it depends. Personal preference. Some people would prefer myself i'm very uh i like the new ships so mm -hmm. sometimes the ships are more important um that's mainly in the caribbean because they have the newer ships for other people it's more of the itinerary they mm -hmm. want a certain amount you know if they're doing a mediterranean cruise or a baltic cruise they want to make sure that the ports of call that they're interested in going to are on that cruise so there are a lot of different driving factors it really just depends on the client itself or some people are limited you know if they're going on a family vacation they can only go when there's when school is out and that tends to be a peak season okay. in the summer and during holidays so um i work with you know all different types of needs budgets mm -hmm. um people can think that traveling is very expensive i disagree mm -hmm. um you do need to save money and i would say there's a right way to travel and a wrong way to do so mm -hmm. um no, you talk like about online prices and what uh, online suppliers mm -hmm. offer. Like, is there like really a difference between like online prices and prices like what a travel consultant offers? 
I can't say a hundred percent, but mainly I do find because I take the time to, you know, I have dozens of suppliers. Mm -hmm. So when my client comes to me with a travel need, I will do my due diligence and compare all the deals and all the suppliers to get them Mm -hmm. the best value. I don't, um, I don't promote the cheapest when I have a client, a new client that comes to me and says, I want the cheapest thing out there. Mm -hmm. I'll politely say I'm not the right agency for you. Mm -hmm. Um, Just because, again, there's a reason that it is cheap. I will, however, look for the best value. I'm very much into high quality, four and five stars Mm -hmm. um, at the best price point. Okay. So it enhances your experience overall. And mm-hmm. I've, I've actually, because of my recommendations and the trust that I build with my clients, I've converted clients who are normally, you know, used to going to three stars just to not spend the money to go to five stars to experience. And they came back and were completely shooken up, transferred, thanked me up and down. We're mm-hmm. so happy they went with my, with my recommendation because the service is better. The location is better. The food is better. Mm-hmm. I mean, there is a reason you do get what you pay for. Okay. Yeah. And everyone expects you know, most out of what they want to spend on their travels. So. And plus, everyone has like different definition of luxury. Exactly. Right? That's very true. Yeah. Like, and if you're not used to luxury, if you're used to three star, it'll do just fine because we don't know what we don't know. Mm-hmm. But the minute you experience a five star or, you know, something above and beyond, you're like, oh, wow, what, what was I missing out on my entire life? How can I go back? Yeah. You know, or even talking about economy... Um, class flight compared to business. It's night and day. Night and day difference, It's yeah. more expensive, but you you get such a better experience for it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I mean, nowadays, like, you know, uh, I see, like, there are, like, so many, like, you know, if I Google travel advisor near me, like, I'll see, like, maybe 50, 60 travel advisors, like, you know, nearby where I live. Mm-hmm. So, like, how do you, you know, how do you try to keep yourself competitive in this, you know, growing travel industry? Great question. Well, as I mentioned earlier, going to the travel shows, to the trade shows, um, keeping very well connected with, um, you know, my counterparts and the suppliers, the business development managers, taking the specialist courses, going through all the training, taking the tests, receiving certifications. Mm-hmm. Um, I am a verified travel advisor. That's... Um, through ASTA and it's mm-hmm. the latest they didn't there isn't a certification that's required mm-hmm. for this field but there are definitely ones that um, like VTA I feel it's the most respected one in the industry so when you put that when I put that at the end of my name to mm-hmm. show I feel like it automatically brings more respect um, because you have to pay several hundred dollars to even take the course mm-hmm. and you have to pass to you know okay. so just the investment of time um, I'm constantly reading up, staying on the cutting edge of, you know, current news, current mm-hmm. events in the travel industry. What's what's going on? What's happening? Where are the trending destinations? Um, and I travel every year. I, I invest thousands of dollars in my personal travel. Mm-hmm. And I not only do it for personal fulfillment, self-fulfillment, but for my career. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm always doing hotel site inspections. I reach out before I go to set up um, appointments with the sales managers at each each place so that I can find great partners and I can experience it firsthand because that helps me. My travel, I've been to almost 50 countries Mm -hmm. already and that really helps me get a better idea and give the best recommendations to my clients. I I agree. So you've been to like 50 50 plus countries? Almost 50. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's great. So I hope like, you know, our viewers, they might have uh, had like, you know, not not like, like in a thorough idea, but a brief idea like what travel advisor or consultant is like and how they could help you to go to help you you know with your travel travel needs like booking some flights hotels or you know all inclusive excursions trip protection cruise you name it yeah worldwide anything even rail travel Uh rental Uh car Mm -hmm. hotel nights um yeah anything that has to do with travel as much as even like uh concerts and theater broadway um sports events like even things like that mm-hmm. we do get uh we're able to book as well so okay so. yeah so that's uh good to know and uh, you know like if you guys like have any questions or if you want to learn something more about let's say she used terms like uh, trip protection or like trip protection uh we can do like another session on that and you know we'll try to bring yeah, reach out to us yeah. and let us know if there's something that you want to hear more about that um we can create another video 
Um, we'd be happy to address any concerns or any curious um, ideas that you would have. Okay, thank, thank you guys and you know, I hope you like this video. So if you like it, please like, share and subscribe. And yeah, let's travel. Thanks.